Hi, this is Patty Bennett. I have a video tutorial today for you making fabric flowers. I know you have seen these on different blogs and websites and videos. They all use the flower folds die and the big shot. I've placed some cut out flowers here on the die because it's just hard to see the shapes when it's all black. But these are the four sizes of flowers that you're going to cut out with your fabric using this die and the Stampin' Up! Big Shot. Now many of you have seen these. Uh, the way that I learned to make them was with this method and it's actually taking each flower and folding it in half so that you're going to have four half flowers per layer and then they are layered on each other in contrasting fabric so that you just keep going around like this until you have four that are layered together and then you would keep layering more and more of these on top of each other and that's how this flower was made and this flower was made the same way so you can see basically that you have four different fabrics showing on each layer. So it's fun to pick out your fabrics and get all different contrasting and coordinating fabrics and then pick a fun button to go in the center. So I've made several with that method and then I needed to make a flower really quickly and I came up with actually a different way that I hadn't seen yet. So I wanted to show you that. What I used was the smallest size flower from the die, the next to the smallest size flower. I used about four or five layers of fabric of each of those two sizes. And then I used one piece from the third largest flower. So I just have those three sizes. I didn't use the biggest one. And then of course I have a, a fun button to put in the center. So let me show you what I did with this. I have all different kinds of fabric. I have sheer, I have patterned, I even have some sparkly felt, so I have a real fun variety. I put some glue in the center, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a few of them, and then layer them. So I have some patterned fabric on top of the red, and then I'm going to put a black piece on top of that. And you can see I'm kind of rotating them so that they're not lining up. Then I have a pretty little sheer piece like that. Then what I'm going to do is take this and put it in my hand. And I'm poking it to kind of form it into a cupped shape. Because I want it to dry with a little bit of shape like this instead of flat. So as that hot glue cools, it's going to start lifting up like that. So there's the layer with the second largest. Now I'm going to quickly do that to the other, the smallest one. So I've got some glue on these and a little glue in there. And again, just layering those. Okay, so I've got several of that smallest flower layered, and my last layer is a sheer layer. And again, I'm going to put this into my hand, put a little more glue, and take my button and put it in the center, and use that to push down, and I'm cupping up like this, so that my flowers kind of fold up. All the little petals come up like this. And if you just make sure that you do this until the glue starts to cool, then your flower will want to have some shape like this. And then I use that larger flower to just put this whole thing onto it. so that it has some pretty contrasting larger petals in the back. And again, just push with my hand. And this is the high temp glue. I had read somewhere that you don't want to use the low temp, that your flower pieces will all kind of fall apart, that the layers will come apart. So I've been using the high temp glue and that seems to work fine. 
and then you can just fluff up your layers, all your petals, and then your flower is nice and contrasting all these different fabric layers and it, it has a nice shape to it because you formed it upwards like that. And that is just a really quick way to get basically the same look as the other one that takes much, much longer. For the back, I'll just show you real quickly what I do with it. I put a circle that I cut out of the circle die and the big shot and I've snipped two snips with my scissors there and put the pin back through the back of the circle. So this kind of a pin back is underneath there and then the whole thing gets glued, hot glued on to the back of the flower and that's a really secure way to secure your pin. So there you go. Pretty fabric flower real quick. Hope you enjoyed that.